today, before we get into the pattern, we're going to be glazing. So I had kind of an epiphany, and I don't know if I mentioned this on stream or not at this point, but uh, I had an epiphany about the hair, and that is that, yes, we neutralized it, but we have not made it blonde yet. So we need to make it yellow. We need to do a yellow glaze, a very cool yellow glaze. We still want to uh, keep it, uh, maybe we'll make it as neutral as possible. I'm not really sure. We've already kind of neutralized everything that we need to. So um, we'll get some yellow in there. We'll make it blondish. Um, obviously some of the, the warm uh, orangey colors are going to stay. Some of the extremely neutral, almost blues will stay. Uh, but we definitely need something making this more of a uh, dirty blonde hair color. So that's going to be where we start today. Um, and then um, after that, probably uh, probably back to the pattern. Now the the pattern, I do have some, some things to fix. Uh, so uh, one is, um, I think we need a few darker like darker blues uh in this flower um right now it's very very kind of uh um blah i guess um not a whole lot of contrast and when you compare it side by side to the upper one um it just doesn't even look like the same thing so we need to sort that out as well as uh, this here, these leaves coming off of that need to be more yellow. And I also think I want to lighten this central like stem kind of area there a little bit. Um, just because this whole section in general just needs a bit more contrast because it's kind of getting lost uh, in the complexity of everything else. Uh, we have three glazes on here now. We have two that were kind of just uh middle of the line neutrals and we didn't really counteract the warmth of the imprimatur at all and then the last one was very very cool very blue um and we were able to really neutralize uh, some of the spots that that are really neutral really dark uh, so now i'm going to be mixing a yellow to make this look blonde so uh, we're going to start with uh, a cool yellow now I do kind of want this on the greenish side, um, but we do need to neutralize it. So we're going to add the opposite of yellow, which is pop quiz opposite of yellow. What is it? The complementary color. Remember there are three pairs of opposites. Anybody Bueller? Purple. Ding, ding, ding. The opposite of yellow is purple. So, um, because this is a cool purple, we want to go with a warm purple to neutralize it. So, warm purple is essentially, um, essentially this. But we don't want to add just that. We are going to use some of the blue as well. Otherwise, we're just going to get an orange which we do not want i also need a lot of this so i think i'm actually going to grab even more of this i thought i had too much but we do need to glaze a pretty large area so we're essentially making an orange and then we're going to add blue which is the uh complement orange uh you know to neutralize it but really what we're doing is we're just mixing a purple into the yellow just one step at a time instead of mixing a purple on the side and then combining them uh, later on. And you can see this is this is going towards a greenish color. It's still very, very orange. So we're going to add even more blue here. It's getting it's getting there. Uh, I think it is still a little orange, so we're just going to add a little bit more blue. I do want it more on the, the, the green, like a little too much blue side of things, because that will still uh, neutralize that orange that's on there. Now, um, we want to go even more. Now, as always, we never want to add white into our glazes ever. 
Um, white is very opaque, so it kind of like in in like like a, from a technical perspective, it's not a good idea because you want your glazes to be transparent. But also, we don't want to worry about value at all when we're glazing. Just hue. Or just changing the hue of this thing now i don't know I, I might be getting a little carried away with this but it's tough to say um because we don't want it we don't want blonde hair to be like pure pure yellow so definitely want it neutralized i think that's pretty good i think that's a good dirty blonde color especially when we put it on top of the uh the imprimatura so i think that's pretty good let's let's uh put this on see what we got so uh i need i'm going to use this big blocky brush you know i'm, I'm working with like a, a much larger area good god that glare i just realized how bad that glare is let me let me try and get rid of some of that eh. That's about as good as it's going to get, I think. Um, there we are. I probably could get away with using a bigger brush, but I do still want to keep the, uh, I guess, the uh, um, versatility, I guess is the word I'm looking for, of being able to do just small strands of hair as well. Uh, that would be good uh, if I was using something like a filbert or something, one that I could, you know, control, you know, wide... Uh, one way and then I just have to turn the brush a little bit to get it thin as well but uh, just because I've been using it I'm gonna use this big clunky well not it's not big compared to what I could be using but much bigger than this little guy that has been probably like 90 uh, no I won't say 90% of this painting but maybe like 75 actually so gonna get this nice and thin not too thin I don't want the the medium to kind of like beat up like water on glass but I do want it to be definitely thin milky maybe a little little thinner than milk maybe we'll see I think this is pretty good so all right so where are the most yellow areas definitely right here And it actually does continue down. Okay. Now this probably looks absolutely ridiculous right now. Kind of looks like Billie Eilish or something. But I can assure you that this is being done for a reason. Now I do have to be pretty careful here with this because if I glaze over top of some of these areas that uh, aren't actually hair, it's going to be tough to get that off of this color that's actually the dress underneath. So I think I might actually switch to my, my other brush for that to really make sure that it's, uh, that I can get it, those individual strands. <laughs> so I just looked at uh, I just looked at it on on camera and my god does it look ridiculous but uh, keep in mind we are going to be lifting most of this off now if I wanted to if I wanted to make sure that this is what we want uh, I can like lift uh, an area and take off most of it and see how it is now if we look right there where I lifted that it is much, much more subtle. So I think I think we're safe. Um, I don't think we have to worry about this being like neon or something. It's a similar situation to when I'm doing flesh. Uh, a lot of the time I'm using like a like green green, you know, to really neutralize the orange of the imprimatura, and it uh, it makes every person that I paint look like Frankenstein for a good period of time. I mean, I usually want to do two, two to four glazes of flesh 
And so that takes a while, especially when they need to dry for like a week. So we're talking like a month at least uh, that the painting just looks wonky. Not only is it green, but it's also missing a lot of the, the value. So uh, it's a strange, strange time uh, for my paintings. And uh, like, like Matt says, don't judge till the end. Oops, that's the wrong scene. Um, unfortunately, I always do. <laughs> that is something that uh, I'm always overcritical of. Of my paintings throughout the entire process. So here, be careful. That does kind of fade out. There is kind of a pretty strong yellow there. Get this going here. This fades into some some warmer areas. This right here might be a bit of a highlight there, but this curves in. I definitely don't want that super hard edge right there. But this comes up quite a bit like that. And then it comes down from the top. This part's very blonde, so I need to make sure that we don't run out of this before we get <laughs> this part in at least. Uh, I don't know if you can see this. I might be blocking it. I'll try my best here. So that's pretty good. Let's kind of come down here. I definitely want to maintain this dark area here and the same thing over here. Um, I'm going to put a little here, but very subtly. Like that. And then this gets pretty warm over here, so I'm going to leave it like that. But I'm actually going to work some of this yellow into this darker area too. Because it is a very neutral color up here, so this will at least neutralize it a little bit more. Uh, before I move to the other side of the part, I do want to kind of double check that this here is, is good. Um, it's very warm here, so I'm just going to leave it like that. What else we got here? Uh, this here, I did miss. Okay. Some of this. Okay, so I also can't forget, I want to go down and do the, the tips here. So I'm going to move this down a little bit. Get those tips really nail the details in there. So we got this here. Now it just so happens that a lot of the yellow areas or the blondish, the blondest areas are for the most part, the highlights. And that's just kind of, you know, how it's like the nature of blonde dirty blonde hair when it's together in like bigger clumps you know or in shadow it's obviously going to look more brown I also want to make sure that it, it doesn't just look like these big like chunks here. So I'm going to get a little bit more or a bit less selective or more selective, more selective in the sections. No, less. I don't know. Putting more in, damn it. Uh, mostly 
in some of the darker areas just to at least suggest that there's there's depth here as well you know a lot of it's going to get lifted off anyway but and get a little more up here in this area all right so uh, these there, there are a few pieces that I missed down here before I move the camera back that's much much better okay so now I'm gonna move this up and we're gonna start working on the other side so there actually is less less of like your like traditional blonde and more of like the the light brown so I'm going to switch back to my bigger, bigger brush here. We don't need as quite as much detail as we did on the, the left side of the part. So this down here is very, very warm. I'm probably going to put none, eh, not none. We're going to get this little guy right here. And maybe right here. And just for poops and giggles we'll get a little bit down here where some of the light is coming through I guess like that and up here there are a few spots I mean there's there's right here uh, definitely right here uh, right here Um, this comes up more. Right there. Yeah, right here too. This part that comes down alongside the ear, we'll, we'll get that. And this part that kind of curves around. Not that they're super, super blonde, but I just want to make sure that they're at least leaning towards that hue, even though they're going to be darker. And I'm just up here working on that section there, which is kind of, it's very flat, you know, in terms of color and value. So it's going to add a bit more to that so everything else is pretty pretty warm okay uh don't mind my my tape holding up my backdrop we'll pretend like that's not there <laughs> all right so now i'm gonna start here and i'm just gonna take it off with my finger and wipe it on the paper towel now normally i would be using the side of my hand but because these are such thin little areas i want a little more control than what i would normally have with the side of my hand so now this is interesting I do think that maybe this was already neutralized enough that we didn't need to make it a super greenish yellow. Uh, I'm not really sure at this point. Um, I'm, it's making me a bit nervous, not gonna lie. But we'll see. 
Once I, let, let me get most of this off of here. Keep it a super thin glaze. And then, then we'll take a step back and see what we've got. So I think that's pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna keep it like that for now. Until we work the lights and darks, I don't think it needs another another layer. So it still looks super dark. Uh, let me get my head out of the way. But I think once we get whites whites back in there, it'll be okay. So we're we're done with hair, at least for now. It's possible that when this dries or cures, I mean. Uh, it's possible that it might uh, not look quite the same, and at that point, I'll see if if it needs another another glaze or not. <laughs> 